Spiritual soul in the building. Geyser, geyser. Nature soul in the building, man. Sample. Geyser, geyser. In the building. Dewey soul in the building. Smooth skin soul in the building, man. Sample. Simple. I'm literally right here waiting for this motherfucker to get done cutting the grass so he can get the fuck out of here so I can get my nature. So let me tell y'all something. I hope you've been taking care of yourself and focus on your fucking self. We in the matrix. Let me tell y'all this, though. I got a quick story time. So we in a whole new month, right? Quick story time. This video going to be a little bit different because I'm in the sun, first of all. And my phone going to overheat in like five to seven minutes like it always do. I have wasted so many fucking videos trying to record for y'all in nature because my phone are cut off because it overheat. But let me tell y'all this right now, it's nice and early. I always wake up nice and early, come out here and get my nature. The sun is my coffee. Ground myself, take my shoes and socks off, get that early, that, that early morning, the most potentest energy from mother nature and the sun. So I can start my day off beautiful. Story time. So I want y'all to know, I haven't been plugged into social media at all, right? So when I'm off of social media, I get a chance to pay attention to my abilities. These abilities, this DNA that y'all supposed to be waiting on in December, it's already happening to a lot of us. But let me tell y'all this. So right now I'm at this new park. I just walked over here. And if I didn't record this video right now, I wasn't going to get y'all no video today. I got to get the videos in the moment. I can't plan shit. It got to be in the moment when my energy is feeling good at that moment. So look. The fuck? Look at go the moon. Moon upside down like shit, dragonfly. I love nature. So let me tell y'all this. So I was at this park. I made plenty of videos at this park. This park is around the way by my house. I woke up, it was like six, seven o'clock. At this park I was in, I was, I was shooting around at first and then I was just grounding myself in nature. Shoes and socks off, meditation. That's another version of meditation. When you come in nature and just listen to nature, the birds, everything, just walk, observe your thoughts. Look at your surroundings. At this particular park, bro, it's heli fucking distractions. It be heli cars going by. You can't even meditate or focus because it be loud ass trucks, loud cars. Y'all know these cars that got these crazy engines. So when I was grounding myself, I noticed these two trucks, right? These two trucks, I noticed that they kept, I noticed that they came around this park like six or seven times. When I caught on, it was like six or seven times. I'm like, hold on, why am I keep seeing this shit? In a span of 15 minutes, these trucks came by this park six or seven times, right? Now, a bot, they'll probably be like, wait, these motherfuckers probably trying to do something to me because it was only me at that park and it was like four kids. And I think they was waiting to go to school or some shit. I didn't even know y'all motherfuckers were still going to school. I thought everything was online. But basically, look, so I'm like, bro, I'm starting thinking, get your ass up, bro, it's fucking fly. Bro, it's two dead birds right there, fly. My nigga, you got food right there. Why is you landing on me? Fucking fly. Keep landing on me. That bitch landed on me. Like, and y'all got to understand, the flies in Arizona bite. Remember I told you they made 750 million GMO mosquitoes? And, and, and Florida, look this shit up, bro. I think they be making fake flies here because these bitches be biting. But look, so I'm in nature, right? So I started to tap in with myself i'm asking my, my bro listen when i start questioning shit i get the answers like bro it came to the point i could look at somebody walking past right now right and just by how they walking it's like i could pick up and i could tell what mood they in i could tell how they feeling it's like i'm picking up on their energy real shit this is the type of shit you start paying attention to and focusing on when you ain't got no distractions when you not on social media when you ain't got no bot ass friends around you you could pay attention to all the new shit about you a person could literally walk around me or near me and I could read their whole body. It's like I could scan everything about them and know how they feeling, what they going through. So when I started looking at these trucks, my fucking higher self told me that these trucks was up to no good. When I start contemplating on shit and questioning stuff, I get the answers. We all got the answers. So I start asking myself, what the fuck is these trucks doing? I'm not going nowhere. I'm about to stay right here and see what they doing. A load of information just hit my mind. A load of information. These two trucks, bro, listen. It's Halloween. Bro, this is a whole new month. September was hell. A lot of people had to evacuate their houses. A lot of people lost they, everything. 
Oregon, these fucking tropical storms, Louisiana, millions of people lost their homes. Millions of people had to evacuate. A lot of food shortages, y'all seen UFO shit, y'all seen so much last year. I mean, last month. This month, it started off crazy. You got Trump talking and all this shit. All of those is distractions. Y'all need to pay attention to the real world and get off fucking social media because these, these is the last days, my nigga. And what I mean by last days, last days, everybody talk about December 21st. Bitch, you supposed to be out here in nature taking care of yourself every fucking day like December is tomorrow. Don't nobody know the exact day. Nobody, not even me. Everybody, December 21st, we all know that within in dreams that something big is coming, but I guarantee you that shit gonna catch a nigga slipping. Everybody talk about December, bro. That shit could be tomorrow. It could be November. This is how I think. So I'm in the gym with my life. So look, I start asking myself, what the fuck is these people doing? All of this information got. So look, y'all, bro, it's, it's, it's almost Halloween. Now we've been programmed to think this shit. These demons is losing the battle. I'm about to tell y'all. They are so fucking desperate, right? It's, it's almost, it's Halloween season. We've been programmed to think that Halloween was all about trick-or-treating, getting candy. Fucking parties. I had some of my best moments on Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Honey houses. Turning up. That's what we think, that's what we think that, that's what we always thought that Halloween was about. When in reality, bro, this is when they, bro, listen. This is when they do rituals with kids, y'all. While y'all out here protesting and focusing on Trump, more kids is coming up missing right in front of y'all face. Last month, I got an article. I had got an article. This article, somebody sent it to me in my emails. So many kids had came up missing. Listen, when, when they can't, bro, listen, these demons, they in human form. They get their energy from y'all. They can't, you, you got to understand. They can't go anywhere outside of this matrix. This is it for them. They feed off your children. They feed off your energy. These motherfuckers is desperate for kids right now. I, I Listen, I'm not making this shit up. I know this shit coming from intuition. I have never seen two trucks circle around a kid's park. Look, bro, these be kids' parks, play skates and shit, bro. Two trucks with grown men in them circling this park. But who are they looking for? If I wasn't there, I feel like they would have snatched up some of them kids that was over there. And what y'all got to understand around Halloween, Halloween, our parents drop us off to these rich ass neighborhoods and then they leave us. And then we just go and trick or treating around these neighborhoods. And then we call them when we are ready to go get as much candy as you can. Right, bro. I'm bro. Watch these kids out here because these niggas is looking for blood. I know y'all heard of adrenochrome and all this shit. So y'all be focusing on all the stuff that the news feeds y'all. That's the matrix, my nigga. I told you escape the fucking matrix. Stop focusing on Trump. Stop focusing on Black Lives Matter. Stop focusing on all that shit and focus on the real stuff that's going on in this world. The only way you can do that shit is be in the moment and get your ass off social media. And what I'm trying to tell y'all is because you want to protect your kids, your family, they desperate now. They don't even hide this shit no more. They are snatching kids, bro. And if you had a low vibration, you a bot. You shouldn't be watching my vids because, bitch, we've been talking about this adrenochrome and all this weird shit for a minute now. But while all y'all focusing on the campaign, y'all motherfuckers, like a person told me, what do I think about Breonna Taylor and the uh, whole, the because, the, bro, listen, George Floyd, the nigga that killed George Floyd, he, all, he, he out right now on bond. Nothing happened to him. The, 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 the so-called cops that posed that killed Breonna Taylor, they're out right now. They free. All y'all motherfucking Black Lives Matter. Y'all protesting some shit. My nigga, our ancestors been getting killed our whole life. Y'all should be protesting these kids and women and children that's coming up missing. Y'all got to protest shit that's going to test and change the matrix. But y'all conscious level, y'all vibration too low for y'all to think that high. Like I told y'all, y'all should protest for them to take them racist ass faces off them dollar bills. All of them men on them dollar bills, the 10s, the 20s, the 50s, the, they had slaves. We was they slaves. We got to wake up every fucking day and see these people that destroyed our, see these men that killed our people, made our people slaves every day. This is what y'all slaving for, the dollar bill. That's what y'all should be protesting. Protest to get some of your land back. Y'all protest shit that don't matter. Like motherfucker think, what, what do I think about Brie? Bitch, I don't give a fuck about Breonna Taylor. None of that shit. Talk about, oh, she got shot by the cops. Bitch, nigga, we been getting, women and children is getting snatched right now. Women and children is getting snatched right now. Bye. 
What, what, what about that? Well, we don't know about that. The news didn't say nothing about it. Bitch, it's because... <laughs> This nigga still cutting the grass. God damn, y'all see him? I'm trying to hurry up and go over here. This is my other nature spot right here. Y'all see it? When he done, I'm gonna go over there. That's when I get my meditation and grounding in. But let me tell you, bro, bro this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Everything that's happening on social media is irrelevant. Your ass supposed to be facing your demons right now. Bro, listen, my birthday just passed. I appreciate all the birthday wishes. My birthday just passed. What you think I did for my birthday? Nigga, I got nature, bruh. My birthday passed, I told y'all. That's just the day I was born. I take care of myself every day to the highest ability. To the highest ability. I'm in a gym with my life. Y'all watching niggas shoot in the gym in the NBA playoffs. Well, shit, I'm in a gym with my life. Getting all that melanin. Look at my skin. <laughs> but listen, my birthday just passed. I didn't do real too much shit. I don't like being around a lot of people, especially at times like this. Because I'm starting to notice a lot of people, the energy, the vibration is changing on the planet. A lot of bots is starting to go crazy. A lot of y'all fucking demons, and y'all don't even know y'all demons. Y'all gonna have to start going underground in a minute because these suns gonna fuck y'all up. The sun is changing. I'm trying to tell y'all. These motherfuckers gonna have to run underground. Remember, they can't transcend. This is it for them. They're demons. They could drink as much baby blood and do all this weird shit that they want. They time is up. It's over. My birthday just passed. I don't really like being around a lot of people. I like focusing on myself. Look, distractions. I like focusing on myself. I don't like doing too much shit, bro. People will steal my fucking energy. I told y'all I'm alone, but I'm never lonely. <laughs> never. I don't fit in because I was born to stand out. Gazer. You get what I'm saying? So let me tell y'all this. Right now, at this time, all you want to do is be, all you want to do is focus on yourself and face your demons. Some of y'all still haven't faced your demons yet. It is literally the last days. This is the last two months. I told you, nigga, the day can be tomorrow. Face your demons. That little ass GMO dog. Man, look at these. Man, y'all probably ain't going to be able to see it. Man, that dog fake as hell. That's a GMO puppy. You know what I'm saying? But listen. <laughs> fucking fly bro bro listen it's literally two dead birds right there with a whole bunch of flies and shit but you got these same flies that's trying to get my melanin them niggas must be trying to go get, but they got demons in the flies these gmo pigeons the pigeons in arizona i don't think they real because they get scared like you can't even walk by. look look at them why are they scared i can't go up there But anyway, you're supposed to be facing your demons right now. Facing your demons is stuff about you that you can't control. You want to know what was my number one demon that I had to face last year? Taking a break from my main channel. I took 50 days off my main channel for the first time in my life. And it awakened spiritual soul. When I took 50 days from my channel, spiritual soul was born. My higher self was finally free. A lot of y'all don't know who y'all truly are until you take that break from social media because you undermine control 24 seven, even if you think you have chosen because you seeing shit that's gonna lower your vibration 24 seven. You find yourself feeling moody and stressed at the comments. You don't supposed to be looking at none of the comments. You don't supposed to be seeing none of that low vibrational shit at times like this. Facing your demon, maybe you a guy. Maybe you a guy, you can't stop jacking off and watching porn. It's hard for us because there's ass and titties everywhere. You go on Instagram right now, you gonna see some, some, some titties right in your face. It's everywhere. It's hard for us to hold on to our most strongest, most potentest energy, our semen, right? Face your demon. If you can't stop jacking off and watching porn, what do you think is making you not be able to stop? On a spiritual level, it's always something feeding off your fears. It's always something feeding off your energy. Maybe you a girl and you can't stop. You think you, you think you, you probably sexy as hell, but you've been programmed to think you need all this makeup like these ugly ass demonic these demon females that y'all look up to most of them are men but you look at all these fucking females that celebrities and they got you wearing this makeup so now you kind of insecure about how you naturally look imagine how fucking confident and immortal and strong a goddess you will be if you overcame that anxiety with that makeup shit loving yourself naturally organic it's different levels to you 
that y'all haven't even reached yet because you haven't faced your demons. Maybe you a guy, you can't stop. Maybe you a girl or a boy, you can't stop drinking and smoking. Face your demons. It's going to be uncomfortable, but you did it to yourself. You want to get rid of all this hard ass trauma, all of this stuff that is holding you back. I'm talking about grudges. I'm talking about breakups, everything. And you got to understand that times like this, people that's close to you, it's going to be testing you spiritually because they bots, they your experience. They didn't come here to wake up who they truly are. They came here for your experience, for you to wake up. You more than this. You the ones with the superpowers, the psychic abilities. I told y'all three months ago, I'm worried about Trump, didn't I? And here he is this month, he come out with Corona. Bro, listen, right now, if you focusing on Trump, if you focusing on all the distractions that they giving y'all, do you know what's going to happen to all of these Q movement and all of these motherfuckers that's vibrating with Trump? Anything that happened to Trump, they going to go down with it. Y'all remember what happened to Kobe? And the whole world was just, nigga, imagine what's going to happen when Trump, something happened with Trump. Y'all got all the signs in y'all face that it's not going to be another president. Y'all don't need me to come on here and tell y'all some shit that y'all already know. Because it's going to come a point in time, y'all not going to have me. You ain't going to have nobody but yourself. That's why I said a lot of y'all think y'all woke. Bro, I got a million subscribers, but it's only like 25, 30,000 of y'all that's actually putting work in with your life and raising your vibration. A lot of y'all just watching and taking the information and running with it, making TikToks, all type of stuff. But y'all not putting in the work. A lot of y'all think y'all woke. Y'all never even connected with y'all higher self. <laughs> you can't even be still, sit and be still and focus on yourself for two minutes without giving up on meditation. But you woke? What are you woke to? The Matrix? I told you, we in the Matrix inside of a Matrix. What's up, bird? Do my ancestors up there? What's up? I see you. You know what I'm saying? But to what I'm trying to tell y'all is Q movement is not spiritual. It's all about exposing the demonic celebrities. It has nothing to do with growing spiritually, though. So if you just focus on that, that shit is at a low vibration. If you focusing on the campaign, it's a show. It's at a low vibration. They, they still in all their energy and creating more problems with it. The more these bots suffer and get mad and react to all this shit, the more stuff y'all gonna see happening in the world. It's gonna keep crumbling. And guess who happy? Me! You know why? Cause this shit is mine. That's tough. Bots y'all have to go. But anyway, like I said, it's time for you to face your demons. My birthday just passed. I had zero friends on my birthday. I got damn near 4 million fans with zero friends. If I had all these people, friends, they could be cool as fuck. I'm talking about we can go and hoop, turn up, fuck, bitch. We can do all that bot shit, right? But you think I'd be at where I'm at right now if I had all these different people pulling me to their reality? I got to focus on these friends' problems. I got to focus on this. I got to focus on that. And they not spiritual. Nigga, I won't be nowhere near as advanced spiritually as I am now if I had all these distractions because they pulling you into their reality. The last thing I'm going to say to y'all and I want all y'all to do, take a break from social media. We don't know what is going to happen, but you do not want to know what you're going to feel like when you don't have this shit no more last minute. I'm trying to tell you, when you take a break from social media, the first two, two days is hell. You're going to be so bored. <laughs> But after those two days, nigga, you become a totally different person in real life. You come back to nature where you came from. A lot of y'all don't know how you gonna be. You think you woke now. When they cut social media off, your vibration is gonna drop so low, nigga, you're done. Face your demons. You're under mind control. All that shit y'all learned on, so it's irrelevant. If you die right now, the people that you look up to and you watch 24-7, if you die right now, bitch, they still gonna be doing the same shit. Your attention don't, it's not needed. So why do you focus on them so much? This is a matrix, bro. This is a matrix. It's gonna continue to keep going without your ass until the whole system crumble. Focus on yourself. Become who you truly are. A lot of us is getting our abilities right now. I told y'all I could just look at a person, walk past, and I could tell they move. I could tell by how they walk, and I could tell what they going through. It's like I'm scanning people, reading their soul. I'm telling y'all, I could just sit in nature and be still in the moment, and I'm seeing cars. I could see the suspicions. 
the red flags. Watch y'all kids, watch y'all younger siblings because these motherfuckers is desperate for kids right now. It's Halloween season. I'm not making none of this shit up. I see it. A lot of y'all on y'all phone, bitch, I'm in nature. I see everything. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, October is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna go home and get some notes, y'all. Y'all take care of yourself. I'm gonna see what's popping in this matrix. I've been seeing a lot of red moons. They go to the moon right there. It looked flipped like it's rotated or something. I ain't never seen a moon like that before. But the matrix is crumbling. If you ain't woke right now, you probably soulless. Remember that. You an NPC, you something. Because everything is right in your face. Last year I told y'all it's going to come up point the time these bots ain't going to have no choice but to wake up. That time is now. This is the last two months. This is the last days. Take care of yourself, man. Gazer. Gazer. Signing out, bruh.